This car represents our motoring future. It's Hyundai's iX35 fuel cell vehicle. It's powered by hydrogen and it has the touring range and recharge speed that electric vehicles can only dream about. We're driving the iX35 from Venice to Frankfurt. It's about the same distance as from Sydney to Melbourne. Now the reason we can do that is because Europe already has in place a hydrogen refuelling infrastructure and it's growing all the time. This car is built on a regular iX35 platform and it weighs about 100 kilos more than a diesel iX35. It loses some cargo space over the conventional model, but that's the only packaging concession made for being a zero emissions car. Recharging with hydrogen gas is really easy. It's a lot like refueling with LPG. All you have to do is hook up the nozzle, squeeze the trigger, and a couple of minutes later, you're good to go. Got another 600 k's in the tank. The iX35 FCEV drives just like an electric car with its 300 newton metres of torque ready from the get-go. Its strong acceleration does taper off from about 80 kilometres an hour on, but we are still able to reach 160 kilometres an hour on the unrestricted German autobahns. When climbing up the Austrian Alps, the iX35 did lack power, but apparently this is because the cars did not have the appropriate high altitude software installed. Ride and handling are nothing to rave about, and the steering feel isn't quite there either. The iX35 FCUV is sold in North America, Europe and Korea. A new technology, of course, is not cheap. In Europe, the iX35 FCUV costs about 55,000 euro, and Hyundai expects to sell about 1,000 of them in that market this year. So we've just arrived in Frankfurt, and the iX35 did the trip easily. However, the lack of hydrogen refuelling infrastructure is the key problem we face in Australia. To get cars like this down under, we need the federal government to support this vital technology. Mr Turnbull, over to you.